Hey, this is Eric, uh, Screeps behind the camera today. We're gonna talk about stealth office weapons. So I work in an office that has a metal detector, so you can't even really bring pocket knives or anything inside. And not that you'd ever need a weapon in an, you know, in an office environment, but I like the idea. And a few weeks ago, uh, I had a couple buddies at the office. One of them has a miniature hockey stick. It's like a novelty hockey stick. And I picked it up off his shelf and swung it around. And it's actually got really good weight and balance. And I made the joke to him that if he ever had to fight off terrorists in the office, this little hockey stick would do a really good job. And he was like, that's actually why I have it. Then he pointed out a guy that works on the other side of our floor who has a miniature novelty cricket bat that is an excellent stealth weapon. And these guys get away with having these because apparently they play these sports. I don't really know them that well. So it's like, I don't really play any sports. Everybody knows I don't really play any sports. But I do sometimes pretend to be a writer. So I ordered this novelty pencil online and I tried to get one that would be a good size and weight that if I had to, it's got a sharp end, it's got a clubbing end, right? The problem is this was the largest one I could find that wasn't inordinately large to be used as a weapon. And this would actually look normal sitting on my desk at work. You know, I could write something on here that I won some fake contest, got a big pencil for it. But I don't actually, this is, a, according to Screep, this is a really lightweight white pine. Um, it was made in China, so I don't really test the, I, I don't really uh, trust the durability of this, although we're going to test it. So I decided that I wanted to make my own pencil based on this uh, that would look like an award of some kind, but actually be a really highly functioning fighting pencil or fighting novelty pencil. So check out Purple Heart Armory online. I had Purple Heart Armory, uh, they're a maker of karate weapons and fighting sticks, and I had them make me an octagonal fighting stick out of solid hickory that's got a pencil point carved on one end and a round eraser head carved on the other. So we're gonna test this out today and see if it performs better than the Chinese pencil that I bought. And if so, we're gonna paint this up to match this and we're gonna make my stealth office fighting pencil. Okay, we're gonna test the uh, white pine Chinese made novelty pencil first. Now one thing I already like off the bat about this, it's got an okay length for what it is. It's got, it's a little bit lightweight, lighter weight than I would prefer. Um, it is about 14 and a half inches long, including the real rubber eraser. So the eraser on this actually creates more weight in the swing because it's solid rubber, but I don't think it's gonna do well in the impact test. One thing I do like about this pencil, as compared to the hickory fighting stick, is the pencil actually has a really sharp little metal point. I, I assume that's actually graphite, it does write, I don't know for sure, but I think I may mimic that when I modify the hickory pencil by cutting the tip off, drilling in, and putting a really heavy gauge steel nail in there, and then just painting that black. That'll give me a really good point on this, but for now, we're just gonna test it as it is. So first, let's test the point in the white pine pencil, and I think this is gonna perform really well. So we're gonna use a watermelon to approximate soft tissue. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's, this point is awesome, so of course it's gonna go right in but I don't know how well this is gonna work with impact. Not terrible. I should be wearing safety glasses for this. I'll wear those for the next shot. All right, got some safety glasses. We're now gonna test a coconut because even the, the cheap white pine pencil made short work of that watermelon. So let's see how it does against a coconut. And the old saying is that a coconut is an approximation of a human skull. We're gonna go with that. Wow. All right, so we lost the eraser, but we cracked that coconut, no problem. I'm a little more impressed with this pencil. Even though I don't know where the eraser is, it looks like the eraser exploded. There's still some stuck in there. And I definitely cracked this little plastic collar around the top. So I don't think you'd get much good use out of this, but for a few swings, it works. All right, we took a break. Our crew is eating some pieces of coconut and watermelon. This is the hickory fighting stick that's been carved to look like a pencil. Uh, by contrast, it is 23 inches long and about an inch and a half thick of hexagonally cut hickory. So I know this is gonna smash through a watermelon, but we're gonna do it anyway because we bought a watermelon. Now the point on this one is not gonna be as sturdy as the graphite point. Um, or maybe not as sturdy, it's not as sharp. It's not gonna be as good as puncturing, but still the weight of this, 
like, yeah, no problem. I didn't think it was gonna split it in half like that. But now we've got two halves to smash. Or, I'll just put one on top of the other like a hat and let's see what we can do with this thing. I can already tell you this is gonna obliterate this thing. <laughs> All right, now the hickory pencil versus a coconut. Yeah, one hit. All right, so I'm gonna clean this hickory stick up and we're going to make a second half of this video where I paint it to look like this pencil. Um, I'm gonna put a metal tip in it for piercing and we'll see what else we can do. I may try to put a metal collar around it to match this other pencil. I've got mosquitoes going crazy on me now because I'm covered in coconut and watermelon. Anyway, we're gonna transform this hickory fighting pencil to look more like this novelty pencil and then this one is going to come to work with me and become my stealth fighting pencil. <laughs>